So along with looking at the below ground nutrient data, we can also link this with what's happening to the microbes in the soil, looking at both bacteria and fungi. So from Loretta's previous slides, we could see that Berwick was the most fertile, followed by Tarawera, and then the very low fertility of the Wood Hills site. So bacterial communities are resilient to change with organic matter removal over long periods of time. So from this top graph, you can see that there's no changes with the different removals. But in contrast, this bottom one here, um, the fungal communities showed reduced diversity with the more intensive harvesting, showing really persistent changes. So these long-term effects are really driving the forest ecosystem. Um, Fertiliser has a much um, larger long-term effect on microbial communities than the organic matter removal did. Um, Berwick did not show any fertiliser effects. So uh, this one here. Um, and because it's a highly fertile site, it was already playing a key role in that. So fertiliser addition reduces the soil diversity long after the fertiliser has been added, making an enduring change to the soil communities. And this may have future effects for subsequent rotations in forests and effects under climate change. So we've heard in the previous session why microbes are important to forests. Further evidenced here is their key link to the decomposition of organic matter to release the nutrients for plant growth. <laughs>